what's up it's Lauren and I'm back with another back to college video so today I'm going to be doing a whole entire video about how to pack for college so it's easier for you guys on move-in day so now that I'm a senior in college which is crazy if you guys are new to my videos I'm Lauren I'm a senior in college so I've had my fair share of experience with moving into college when it came to freshman dorms and apartments and just different things like that also just a little plug promo for my Instagram um, I have been posting a lot more on that so definitely follow that over here I will also link my college playlist over here as well. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the packing moving in day tip. So the first tip that I have is to make a packing list. This is really important because if you don't have a packing list, it's gonna be extremely difficult to remember everything you need. So I'm gonna to try to see if I can find some packing lists online for you guys that I think are pretty accurate and pretty good. And I will link those down below just from like random blogs and stuff, I'll find those for you guys. I think packing lists are so incredibly important because if you don't have one, you're not gonna be able to keep track of everything. So it's really good to go throughout your daily routine and think about all the things that you use so you're able to pack those. So, you know, it's nice to like look off a packing list, but sometimes they won't include everything that you personally need. So just remember to kind of go through your morning routine, your night routine, and remember all the things that you use every single day. So I had a pre-made packing list that I made myself um, throughout the summer and I just thought of everything that I needed and I wrote it all down on a packing list and then I would add to that packing list when I kind of remembered something. So I think that's pretty important. I had it on like a Google Doc sheet and I had the app on my phone. So you know if I was out and about on a, at a store or something, I was able to just add to that Google Doc sheet whenever I wanted. So it made my life a lot easier. Number two is to check your college website. Almost every college will usually list things that they want you to bring and things they don't want you to bring. So some colleges like don't allow you to bring certain items and some colleges do. Um, I know for example, I mentioned this in my video from last year, but my college didn't require bed risers because the beds actually rose themselves. So that was something that I did not need to purchase. So just kind of see what your dorms like have in them already and um, see like what your school provides for you because that could be different from school to school and um, you don't want to pack all this stuff that you don't need. Number three, so when you're actually getting into physically packing your items for college, try to fit something in every nook and cranny you can. So let's say you have drawers that you're bringing, like plastic drawers you're bringing to school or if you're bringing like a trunk to school or even like your mini fridge just try to put stuff in every little space you can find because it's better to bring less items with you to school than bring just like all of these bags with you. It helps kind of narrow down um, the amount of bags I have and stuff so I really like that Number tip. four is I like to put all of my clothes in trash bags so like those big black heavy duty trash bags I use those to put my clothes in because they fit so many clothes in them so I kind of double bag them and then I kind of carry my bags that way so sometimes I like to put them like my clothes on hangers already and then kind of put the trash bags like around them and bring them with me or I'll just kind of fold everything and put them in the trash bags I just think that they um, have a lot of space in them and it's just nicer to bring a couple of trash bags than just packing it in tons of suitcases or something like that number five is to buy your bigger items closer to school if you can so see what's around your school if there's like an Ikea or like a Target or a big Walmart sometimes those big big items that are going to be really difficult for you to pack or maybe just easier to get at school so sometimes like maybe like a microwave or a fridge or something like that um, that might be easier if you don't have a bigger car or something and you can't fit as number much number six is to label everything on the label you want to put your name first of all because sometimes your items might get lost um, and you like never know because I know at my school they move our stuff in for us so um, our freshman year they did not the rest of the years but freshman year um, what they would do is they would come up to your car and they would put everything um, in like golf carts and stuff like that and then they would move it in for you and it would show up at your room so you had to put your room number in your name so sometimes like with all the ruckus it definitely can get lost um, so you need to have your name and room number but if you have to move your own stuff in freshman year um, you never know if someone might have the same bin as you or something and they might take it because there's just so little room um, I had like traditional dorms with like communal bathrooms and stuff and I remember we had barely any room to move our stuff in which was 
crazy because the hallways were so small and there were so many people with so many things and then you have your roommate moving in so it's just kind of like a lot at once so to have your name and also the items that are in each bin or the items that are in each box just write that down it's going to keep you so much more organized number seven is to ask your roommate what they're bringing and when they're moving in so it's really good to obviously contact your roommate before you move in um i did this and usually your school provides you with some information to contact them um but i asked my roommate when she was moving in and she moved in before me but it was she was already pretty much moved in by the time i got there which was really 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 helpful because if we were both moving in at the same time it would have been way way too crazy uh, because the room was really small so it was kind of nice because she had her stuff all out already and like already packed unpacked and stuff and it was just pretty much me at that point moving in so just ask them when they're moving in maybe move in at two separate times I would do that and also ask them what they want to bring so maybe if you guys want to split a rug a microwave fridge figure out that you know Venmo's a thing now I know like freshman year I brought the microwave and I paid for it fully but I've had it all four years which I really like and then I brought like a rug and my roommate brought like a fridge so we kind of split things up which was really nice because you don't want to bring two of each item for big items like that so just definitely get in contact with them about what you want to do with bigger items number eight is when you're loading everything into your car to make sure that you have all your bigger heavier items at the bottom and then work your way up um so I know this was so much more helpful for me I just put all my big heavy items at the bottom when I was packing my car and my mom has a really big van which was really helpful because I was able to fit so much and I brought way too much number stuff. nine I know a lot of people ask like okay like what exactly should I pack all my stuff in so with clothes I really enjoy trash bags but I brought some plastic bins and then cardboard boxes so I brought about three plastic bins and these plastic bins I kept with me at school if that makes sense so um, I personally don't think it's good to pack all of your stuff in plastic bins because then you're gonna have so many plastic plastic bins that your parents are going to need to bring home. So maybe you pack a lot of your stuff in big cardboard boxes so then they can easily just break down those cardboard boxes and it's way less work after you're done moving in. But I had little plastic storage drawers which I talked about last year um, that I brought with me to put under my bed and so I packed as much stuff as I could in the plastic storage drawers in the plastic bins and then the rest of my items I put in cardboard boxes so then I could easily break those down. I think it's really good to utilize your under the bed storage when you're moving number in. 10 is it's like I said in the beginning of this video it is better in my opinion to underpack than to overpack items remember that Amazon Prime is a thing so if you need an item in two days you can easily get one and also just scout out what's in your college town see kind of like what's there and what you can purchase usually there's some type of store like a Walmart Target so anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for watching if you guys have any other um, questions or comments or advice whatever leave that down below so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye <music>